Today, we're gonna to be sharing how you can add your own doors to open shelves or bookcases. First, you're gonna to need to get the measurements for your frame. I'm gonna be sharing how I did mine, but my shelves don't go all the way to the ground, so you might have to adjust if you are using a bookcase or shelves that do go all the way to the ground. I started by measuring from the top of my top shelf to the top of my bottom shelf, and then I added the width of the board that I'm using for the frame. So I used one by two, so the actual width that I added was one and a half inches. This measurement will be the length for the two side pieces of the frame. Then I measured from the outside of one side of the shelf to the outside of the other side, and then I subtracted the width of two boards, so that would be three inches for me, and that will be the measurement for the top and bottom boards of the frame. Then you'll use a pocket hole jig on both of the center boards on the inside on both ends. Then to attach these center top and bottom boards to the side pieces, I add a little bit of wood glue and then clamp them to the side pieces to keep everything straight and then screw it in place. Once you've got your frame all set, you can line it up with your shelves and then use a nail gun to secure it. Then I just caulked all the edges and the holes from the nails and then let the caulk dry. Then I just painted the frame to match the color of the doors and the wall. I used the shaker cabinet door tutorial that we shared a few weeks ago to make the doors so you can follow along on how to make your own doors for that and then I just painted mine to match the bathroom. Once everything was dry and the hardware was attached, I lined up the door and then created a little mark inside where I was going to pre-drill a hole. First I measured this out and then I created the same exact measurement on the other side so that my doors would be level. Then I pre-drilled all of these holes on the tops and bottoms for both doors and then I just attached the door by screwing everything into place. And then finally I just measured out and drilled holes for my hardware. 